The Porcupine's Prickly Puzzle, A Tale of Teamwork and Triumph Once upon a time, in a dense and lively forest, there lived many creatures, each with their unique abilities and talents. The forest was filled with vibrant colors, glistening waters, and a perpetual melody of rustling leaves and singing birds. The forest was peaceful, and its inhabitants lived in harmony. In this enchanted land, there was a wise old porcupine named Percival, known far and wide for his intelligence and sharp wit. Percival, now of considerable age, worried about the forest's younger generation. He noticed they often relied on their individual strengths without acknowledging the potential benefits of collaboration. Percival decided it was time to teach the animals of the forest a valuable lesson about teamwork and unity. Percival concocted an elaborate plan to challenge the animals of the forest. He crafted a series of riddles, puzzles, and obstacles, each designed to encourage the use of their unique skills and talents. Word spread throughout the forest about the mysterious challenges that awaited them, and excitement grew. At the break of dawn, the forest's animals gathered around Percival's Hollow, where he announced the start of the challenges. Good morning, dear friends, Percival began. Today, you will embark on a journey unlike any other. You will face trials and obstacles that will test your wits, courage, and strength. But fret not, for the key to success lies not in your individual prowess, but in the harmony of your combined talents. The animals chattered with anticipation, and they lined up in alphabetical order to draw their initials from a velvet pouch. The pouch revealed 12 letters, B, D, E, F, H, J, L, N, Q, T, V, and Z. The animals whispered among themselves, puzzled by the seemingly random assortment of letters. As the challenges began, the first obstacle was a deep ravine that separated the animals from the next stage of the quest. The animals assessed the situation, considering how they could use their individual skills to cross the gap. Bonnie, a nimble bird with iridescent blue feathers, soared effortlessly to the other side. The others looked on, unsure of how to proceed. Just as frustration began to set in, a young deer named Delilah stepped forward. Friends, she said, let us use the branches of the nearby trees to build a bridge across the ravine. Together, we can gather the materials we need to reach the other side. The animals nodded in agreement, and with the help of Eloise, the elephant, and Zara, the zealous zebra, they constructed a sturdy bridge, strong enough to carry the heaviest of them. Together, they crossed the ravine and continued their journey. The second challenge revealed itself as a vast labyrinth of thorny vines that blocked their path. The animals stared at the tangled mass, unsure of how to proceed. Quincy, a quiet but resourceful quokka, suggested, we can navigate the labyrinth if we work together. Let's take turns leading the group and guiding each other through the maze. The animals agreed and began to take turns, relying on their individual strengths to overcome the challenge. Fergus, the fox, used his keen sense of smell to identify safe passages, while Vera, the vigilant vixen, guided the group using her sharp eyesight. As they worked together, they discovered the exit of the labyrinth and continued on their journey. 
Their third challenge was a towering mountain, its summit hidden amongst the clouds. It was said that the mountain held the key to the final puzzle, but only the most determined and collaborative would reach the peak. The animals began to scale the mountain, each using their unique talents to assist the others. Hector, a hardy hedgehog, used his quills to anchor ropes that the others could climb, while Lillian, a lithe lemur, swung through the trees to scout the best routes up the mountain. As the climb became more difficult, the animals took turns carrying one another or offering a helping paw. Night fell, and the journey grew increasingly treacherous. The path became steeper, and the wind howled around them. The animals huddled together for warmth, seeking comfort in each other's company. We cannot give up now, said Tabitha, the tenacious tortoise. We have come this far, and we have faced these challenges as a team. We must push onwards, knowing that we can rely on one another. With renewed determination, the animals continued their ascent. The higher they climbed, the more arduous the conditions became. The snow turned to ice, and the winds picked up speed. And yet, despite these obstacles, the animals refused to give in. They pressed on, knowing that the summit and the key to the final puzzle was within reach. At long last, they reached the peak. The animals looked out over the forest, marveling at the breathtaking view before them. As they took a moment to rest, Jocelyn, the jubilant jaguar, spotted a glimmering object nestled within a crevice. She carefully retrieved the object revealing a key made of pure gold. With the key in their possession, the animals made their way back down the mountain, filled with a sense of accomplishment and camaraderie. Upon their return to Percival's Hollow, the wise porcupine greeted them with a knowing smile. You have succeeded in your quest, he said. And more importantly, you have discovered the power of teamwork and collaboration. Remember this lesson, dear friends, and carry it with you throughout your lives. With that, Percival used the golden key to unlock a chest, revealing a treasure trove of fruits, nuts, and seeds. The animals rejoiced, celebrating their victory and newfound unity. From that day on, the animals of the forest remembered the importance of working together, using their unique skills and talents to create a stronger, more harmonious community. The once individualistic creatures now reveled in their collective strength, cherishing the bonds forged throughout their adventure. And as for Percival, he continued to watch over the forest, his heart warmed by the knowledge that he had played a role in fostering a new era of cooperation among the animals. <laughs>